reviews, presenters, and educators. I'm Art Fireman, editor of ProjectorReviews.com, and today we're going to take a close look at a workhorse of a portable business and education projector known as the Epson Powerlite 96W. We'll go over the highlights of this fine projector. Are you ready? The Powerlite 96W is small enough to be a portable. It weighs in at 7.2 pounds, but at the same time it's a very feature-laden projector and for that reason it's quite often used ceiling mounted in conference rooms and in classrooms. In particular, school districts have found this to be a truly excellent projector. The Powerlite 96W is a 3 LCD projector, 3 panels, it's rated 2700 lumens, those are white lumens and color lumens. For those of you not familiar with the difference, check out our uh, video on color light output, you'll find it rather interesting. The point is, it means you've got bright, rich colors. That's important, especially where there's ambient light. The 96W is a WXGA projector. That's 1280 by 800. Now these days, these widescreen projectors and widescreen computers are preferred over the old-fashioned 4x3s. That's true in the classroom and in the business world. Now, the 96W has siblings. Specifically, we'll mention the 95, which is the same basic projector, except 100 lumens less at 2600 lumens, white and color lumens. And that projector, however, is the old-fashioned standard XGA resolution of 1024 by 768. Okay, the one thing I'm sure you're waiting to hear about is the price. Epson uses a map, a minimum advertised price, and that price is $749. Educators, I got great news. Epson offers some substantial discounts for you guys and they even offer special pricing on replacement lamps, which we'll talk about a little later on. Okay, it's time to get into the highlights of Epson's Powerlite 96W. Let's do it. I've already mentioned that the 96W produces 2,700 powerful lumens. The point here is it's bright enough for a nice sized conference room or a large classroom. That's K through 12, not university. Even with a fair amount of lights on. Let's talk about them right now, and let's talk lamp life. The 96W is rated 6,000 hours in its eco mode and 5,000 hours in standard mode. Understand, a lot of the competition out there is two, three, or 4,000 hours. Educators, Epson's program will let you buy replacement five and 6,000 hour lamps for only $99 a piece. Your cost of electricity is probably noticeably more than the cost you'll spend on lamps. Now, if you're planning to take Epson's 96W on the road, or let's say move it from classroom to classroom, one of the nice touches is there's a sliding cover over the lens. And when you're using the projector, that doubles to mute the video and the audio in case you'd like to address the students in your class or the people in your audience. The 96W is also well endowed in terms of inputs. Of course it has HDMI, but it also supports USB plug and play. That means you can actually hook up to a computer without a special cable just via USB. And I've got another benefit for you as well, one I really like. It's an optional one, given, but you can plug in a wireless module into the 96W, and now you don't have to connect physically to anything. Let's not forget sound. The Epson's got 16 watts, and that's enough to do a really respectable job in almost any size classroom or small conference room. Speaking of sound, the Epson has a microphone input. That's something not found on a lot of small projectors, and that's great in the classroom, for example. The uh, teacher can wear a lapel mic, doesn't have to try and shout over the class, can use the speakers in the Epson itself. Educators, you need to know this. You won't be surprised, but the 96W does have closed captioning. I should point out that a lot of projectors still do not offer this capability. As I said, this is a widescreen WXGA, but you should know that it handles up to WUXGA resolution or 1080p if you have high resolution sources. Let's take a look at the hardware. Our tour of the Epson Powerlite 96 
begins in the front. We've got the recessed zoom lens, and above it an AV mute control, which is very handy, an infrared sensor, and the front exhaust. Let's not forget the drop-down adjustable foot. Moving to the back, from the left, we have an HDMI port, the classic S-Video and composite video. In addition, there are two analog computer inputs, and you can bring in component there also. You've got three sets of audio inputs, and of course, a monitor out. Now, for controlling audio with external speakers, there's even an audio out. This projector is capable and has two USB inputs and a network connector as well. We've already talked about the mic input, and of course there's an RS-232 for command and control. All that leaves in the back is the infrared sensor, the Kensington lock, and the rear-facing speaker. Moving to the side, we have exhaust over here, we have lamp on the other side. With the exhaust, you can slide the lever, open the door, here's where you change the two filters, and equally important, here's where you plug in the module for wireless presenting. Wi-Fi. Let's take a look at the top of the Powerlight 96W and it starts with the recess controls for the manual zoom lens. There's focus and zoom. And of course a large orange power switch that you can't miss. Need to change sources? Tap the source button. It can search and find sources that are active or you can manually select. The menu button, escape and enter are the keys to the navigation system along with the four arrow keys. Now notice, the four arrow keys will double for vertical and horizontal keystone correction if you're not in the navigation system. Moving further to the right, we have volume up and down, and Epson offers interactive help that will assist you if you have any problems during setup. Well, all that leaves now are the indicator lights. There are three of them on the side. Different codes tell you what's going on with the projectors. It's time to consider how the Epson performed when Tony did the review of it. As mentioned, it's a 2700 lumen projector. Now we tend to measure very conservatively around here, so we were pretty impressed when the Epson came in at 2459 lumens. That of course is dynamic mode, which is the brightest of the modes, but overall the Epson was consistently bright, almost all the modes over 2000 lumens. There are a number of other modes, including presentation, blackboard, cinema, theater, sRGB, the list goes on. While some of the best of those modes are dimmer, even dynamic mode does a very good job on color. Contrast at 2001 is perfectly respectable for a business or education projector. Overall, the image appears very sharp, downright crisp. No one in anyone's audience or classroom is going to have any problem with the overall image quality of this Epson projector. Epson provides an excellent warranty, two years parts and labor on the projector. Even better though, you get a two year replacement warranty program. Have a warranty problem? Contact Epson, they immediately ship you a projector. You take your broken one, put it in the box when the replacement arrives, ship it back to them, Epson picks up the entire tab. It could not be easier. On top of that, Epson's got a great reputation for support. I know that. I used to own a large online dealership. We sold something like 20,000 projectors. We always considered Epson to be as good as you could find when it came to support. Okay, let's wrap this up. And remember, there's a lot more information in the online review. Some of the highlights include a very nicely bright picture, suitable for conference and classroom. It's got very good picture quality overall in virtually every mode it offers. In addition, it's got great input flexibility, including display USB and HDMI, and there's a wireless option as well. Performance is impressive on both video and on data presentations. The warranty and support, as I mentioned, is excellent. Having optional wireless is a really nice touch that many people will order with their projectors and use quite heavily. And when you put it all together, this Epson is simply an excellent value. You'll love it in your classroom. You'll love it taking it on the road. That's it, folks. I'm Art Fireman. You're watching Projector Reviews TV.